Hey, Sneaky Linux Bad today. Today I've had a request from old Linux learner. Old guy, he said he's 58. He could be 68, but he says on his profile he's 58. And he wants to know how to take a screenshot when using Gparted. Now, normally I wouldn't do this sort of thing, but hey, you know what? I ain't done Gparted for ages anyway, so I thought well, I'll bundle it all in and we'll do it all in one go, if you know what I'm saying. So anyway, I'll go up here and I'll go to my system and I'll go to my admin. I'll go to Gparted, as you can see. That is my main drive on this test machine. It's the old, uh, old, old dual core 2.2. Two. You know, it does its job. It does its stuff. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't go bang. It doesn't run too hot. So I don't mind using it for doing videos. It's lovely. Some of the newer stuff I've had lately. Oh, nightmare on heat. But there we go. So anyway, I'm not going to use my main drive to show you how to do the partitioning. I'm not even going to show you. I'm just going to give you an example. We're going to use a little USB drive I've got plugged in. And I've blanked it all off, as you can see. Now it's a 4 giga, and it's a nice little one. So what do we do first? So I'm just going to give you an example of sort of stuff you can do with these drives. Just so you can pretend it's a 100 million gig drive, you know, or a billion terabyte, or zillabyte, or up me by it. So anyway, if we highlight it, first you want to do, you want to create a partition table, okay? So you click it, and we go apply. And it's done it for you. So what you do, you want to split it up, don't you, basically, into different stuff. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to add new. So my first partition, because I'm a bit of a bugger, I'm going to make that right nice and small, you know, just, a lot, just under a gig, and I'm going to make that 64, because I'm a bugger like that. Okay, and then we just click add. And now what we're going to do, if this was a, a real distro, you'd have a, a primary partition, and maybe a boot partition, all depending on what you're just going to multi-boot, different stuff like that, you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, apart from that, that would be another video anyway. I'm just showing you what to do and take the picture at the end of it, is what I'm trying to tell you. So we're going to right click again and do new again. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make that an extended partition, just like that, and we'll add that. So we're going to have more stuff on, basically, at the end of the day. I'm going to right click again, go to new. Okay, with this one we're going to have as, it's for a laugh, we're going to have this as NTFS, just for a laugh. I'm going to give that a bit of a gig, you're saying like that, you know. I'm just saying how it does it and what it does. So we'll add that. We've still got some unused stuff here, so we're going to use all that up. We'll do another new one. And we're going to do... Resizers. I can't do number four there. For some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because it's not a primary partition. Maybe. So we'll click there. And we're going to move that halfway down. We're going to add. There we go. And my last lot, I'm going to add new again. You know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have a swap partition, basically, in a day. But add... Now all you do is click apply. Now, so just telling you basically that if you do this, it's all going to go bye bye and go into the land of lost. So I'm going to do it anyway, and it does its stuff. And we can have a little sing song, and I'll kind of have me cider of the evening tonight. Cider has some Somerset, by the way, and it's very nice. Thank you. So I'm going to do a sip of that. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. Gorgeous. Oh, I love apples. Especially in alcohol ways, it's lovely. Because it's part of your five a day, isn't it? You know, cider. Is that not right? No? Somebody tell me different. Okay, we click close. It checks the whole drive for us. Now, this little 4 gig drive we've got on the XT4, we've extended it. We've got NTFS, like your Windows stuff. You've got Resizers, and we've got Linux Swap as well. I mean, basically, you can do whatever you want with it at the end of the day. But don't forget, you're going to connect. So, if I click there, and we might want to manage my flags. We might want to make that the boot partition. So you click on boot and click close. That would then be my boot partition. Yeah, that's super duper, isn't it? Lovely jubbly. But say, as an uh, old Linux user wants to know, how do I take a picture of that? Now, normally it would be up here in your applications and accessories and take a screenshot. But hey, you know me, I'll go down my usable bar. I'll go down here. So I'll click there, take a screenshot. Now we can have a delay if you want to. So should we do a delay? Yeah, of course we will. We'll have a three second delay. Take a screenshot. There we go. And is it going to ask me where it's going to go? Yes, it is. Yeah, that'd be fine. Desktop is fine for me because I'm just showing you how it's done. We click save. There we go. All done. Super duper, bleeding duper, 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 duper. Wasn't that easy? Now I know some of you are saying, oh, bro, anybody can do that. But if you're like, Getting on your 60s, you'll get into a silver server. I mean, the silver servers are based from 55 now, apparently. And you just get into Linux. 
a lot of those forums just go don't give you any information at all and they need step through step by step stuff i do a lot of older people where i live and you have to com keep com repeating yourself all the time to do it so i'm going to show you the ships i said the screenshot am i talking german no i am not so open the screenshot i've just taken there it is we're gonna make it a bit bigger that's what i took so basically you're saying if he's having trouble doing g party he can take a screenshot and show somebody to give him a bit of a hand which is all well and good isn't it but it's okay yeah i hope you like that one by the way don't forget to not stop sending your questions for Sneaky's Corner. I've got it on track for maybe late weekend, maybe early next week. We're getting some nice questions in at the moment. Really nice. I'm only going to take the top ten. They won't always be the ones you want to hear, but they're going to be top ten. But I'm going to make it, may make it a monthly thing. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But yeah, end of the day, it's going to be going down. So, old Linux geezer. Because you can be a geezer now, as you're in the UK, you're a geezer. We can do it. And I'm going to finish my glass of cider. Sneaky Linux going out. See you later.